wow, that's a huge bee. She walked out right in front of me and I didn't realize she didn't have any wings. I don't know why, but I just bent down and reached for her and she crawled onto my hands so quickly. And it was just so hot. I was like, there's no way you're gonna survive in this heat. She could still buzz, which was adorable. I took her in the car, got her some flowers. I just trial and error. I had some sponges and just put sugar water and honey on her sponges. Every day she had big terrarium of fresh flowers. She was pretty good at knowing what she wanted to eat with the flowers. We'd have to practice climbing. Leg training commenced. She loves it. She's flying. She actually did get jacked. Her legs got super buff. Yeah. I wanted her to be around other buzzing insects so that she didn't forget her native tongue, I guess. <laughs> I would go and put her where other bees were collecting pollen. I've had Pyro since he was a kitten. I didn't even intend to introduce them at first, but as soon as I put her on the flower in the garden, he was very, very intrigued by her. He knew that she was not a toy, not a meal. He would fall asleep beside her terrarium. She bonded with Hiro and didn't have any fear of him. If I put her down, she would just chase him around <laughs> and like want to be around him. Ruby was super unique. She had a personality. She was definitely trying to communicate with me. And I'd be like, what are you trying to tell me? You could tell when she was scared, her antennas would go down. She would just get bursts of energy too after we fed her. Whoa, big jump, Ruby. She liked music. I think it was the vibrations because she would just sit and listen. It really calmed her down. This was the first relationship I ever had with an insect. Every day, she became more and more of a best friend. It's crazy. Feels very safe with you. She knew when it was me, other people she wouldn't crawl onto. She always needed to be touched. Didn't feel like I was caring for her, but it, towards the 15, 20 day mark, it was like she was caring for us. It said that Bumblebee's lifespan is about 28 days. A month later, we still had her. And the next morning, she wasn't buzzing, and she was just very, very slow, and she passed away. We, we cried for three days straight. 24 hours a day for 32 days, a lot of hours to spend with something, someone. I thought that I would take care of her, but I never thought I'd love her. Her wings never did grow back, but I felt like if they did, she would have still stayed. She was just so magical. <laughs>